Hi there, this is Avra. Thanks for joining me today. Today I want to talk to you about the magic of scanning to Google Drive with your Android phone. Um, Android phone, Android tablet, whichever you've got. And actually this does work for your Apple devices too. Um, I haven't made a tutorial with my iPad yet. I just used my phone the other day to do some screenshots because I wanted to show everybody just how easy it is to take a picture of a document and then the Google Drive app actually turns your picture into a PDF file and sends it right to your Google Drive. So it's absolutely amazing. Whether you are um, just the average person trying to get rid of the clutter of mail and financial documents and receipts and just all the paper we have in our lives, or whether you're a teacher who wants to create a digital portfolio or wants to do digital portfolios with your students, um, doesn't matter how you come at it, it's an awesome tool to have. This video does um, require a little bit of previous knowledge. You do need to have Google Drive set up in your world. And so if you don't really understand what that is, um, this may not be the video for you. But if you are using Google Drive on either your mobile devices or your computer or both, then please join me as I show you how easy it is to just simply scan the PDF and send it to your Google Drive in just a couple of taps on your phone. So let's get started. What I've done is just come up with some simple steps. I took some screen captures on my phone and I'm just going to kind of walk you through the process of doing this. So to begin with, you want to make sure that you've got the Google Drive app installed on your phone. Um, if you have a newer Android phone and it's January 2015 as I'm recording this, then you probably have a phone that it came with it. I'm finding that most um, Android devices have got a lot of the Google programs installed already. But if you don't, what you want to do, um, as you see in step one here, is head to the Play Store, then look for the magnifying glass, and then type in Google Drive. And from there, you'll launch Google Drive um, right after you install it. So you'll see it, it'll look like this. Over here, you'll have the option to install. Um, if it's already installed, it will say installed, or it might say update like mine does here. I need to run an update on my phone. And so then it's going to show up in your apps looking like this. And then once you've launched it, this is what you'll see. Now you're not gonna see exactly this. This is my messy Google Drive. Um, but you will see your drive. You'll see any folders that you have created or any individual files that you don't have in folders. You'll just see a small snapshot right here of your Google Drive. The thing you want to look for is this red circle here with the white plus sign in it. You're going to tap that and you're going to get this screen here with number seven. Um, it's going to allow you to create something new. So do you want to create a new folder? Do you want to create a new Google Doc? Do you want to do a new upload? And in this case we're talking about doing a new scan. So you're going to choose the camera icon right here, tap it, and then your screen will look like this. And you'll see all of a sudden, it's kind of like your camera has launched. And what I did is I was scanning a test of my daughter's as an example. So I just laid it down on a, on a flat surface on a table. And then you just simply tap the blue button here. Do notice that there is a flash. If you need a flash, if you don't have enough light, you can do that. And then what happens is it looks like this and you end up with these icons up here and these icons down here. The one I have circled here is the crop icon. It's really nice because what happens is that you can then crop it out so that you don't end up with the surface around it and it'll just crop right to the document. These blue um, circles are called handles. You can move them around and crop just a section of your paper if that's what you'd like. Um, it's completely up to you. When you're done, you're going to want to find the white check mark right here and that is um, just kind of your way of telling it that you're done. These icons down here at the bottom, just to let you know, the plus sign would allow you to start a new scan if you were um, just going to scan another document. This one lets you start your process over again. It's kind of a restart button. And then again, this one is your finish button. A couple other options that you have to really nice here in Google Drive um, with the scanning feature, this color palette icon gives you this menu here so allowing you to choose what color you would like your document to be so if you're you know if it's a black and white document you can choose black and white so on and so forth and then also you do have the option to rename your document 
you can delete it um, or you can go to other settings. So by choosing this menu icon right here, anytime you see these three dots, that's typically a menu um, icon in Android. And that gives you these menu settings. And just to take it one step further, the additional settings, the more options, um, more settings in here are things like image enhancement, paper size, paper orientation, or image quality. So those are all just additional settings that you can choose from. So it lets you get very granular in terms of your choices. Paper orientation are things like, you know, do you want it to be landscape or do you want it to be portrait, which means sideways or up and down, so on and so forth. So it's just that simple. Once you've hit your check mark, it's going to immediately start to upload to your Google Drive. Also, the nice thing is, is that you can choose to only allow it to do that when you're hooked up to Wi-Fi. That way, if you've got a data package um, and you're concerned about taking up too much of your cellular data, um, you can tell it not to do that until it's on, on, on Wi-Fi. So that is just as easy as it is. Um, again, my name is Avra, and I am a Google Education Trainer. Um, very, very excited about all of the Google products, but in general, I just love helping people integrate technology into their worlds, whether you're just an average person or whether um, you are a teacher or a student. If you need any more help, if you need some clarification on anything I said in this video, um, please feel free to send me an email or contact me on Google Plus or Twitter um, or head over to my website. I would be happy to help you, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks so much.